Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of Minecraft shaders for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest release which is version 1.17.1.1 and these shaders are actually called Sora shaders which is spelled S-O-R-A and Sora shaders are actually based off the Project Luma shaders which came out previously and Project Luma shaders are also based off another set of shaders which are called the CUDA shaders. So if you guys have heard of those shaders, this is a, a rework of those ones and it's quite a nice shader pack. After trying it out, I do really like the water effects and the sky boxes they've used in this. Obviously, as you guys can see, we are in the nighttime mode. Let me just change it quickly to daytime so you guys can see the amazing water and the reflections as well. So as you guys can see, similar to Project Luma and CUDA shaders, I would say this is more similar to the Project Luma shader pack. And this is actually a rework of that one that's based off the Project Luma shaders. We do have that nice water effect. I really do like the realistic water graphics there. We do have some nice lens flare coming in from the sun, as you guys can see over there, when I move my camera slightly to the sides of the sun. And we also have some nice realistic clouds. I do like this type of clouds that they use in the shader packs. They are quite nice and realistic and like quite nice to look at as well. In terms of the actual colors, I have changed the colors a bit. I have turned up the saturation. So you, because we're using Optifine, I have gone ahead and tweaked the shader pack a bit. Unfortunately, this does not work well with iris shaders at the moment. We do get a black sky if you did try to use this with iris shaders so i would only recommend that we try and use this with optifine for the time being and if i go into my options and go into the video settings click on shaders and then shader options i have actually gone into the color section here and changed these things around slightly i've also gone into the effects and turned on the depth of field as well and everything else i've just kept as it is basically if we go to post process and then tone mapping I have turned up the saturation to 1.3 because I feel like that is a nice sweet spot for myself when I'm gaming uh, with these type of shaders. If we go down onto the ground, we can see the grass and the blocks are slightly different colours as well. And then as you can see, we do have that nice depth of field effect there. So I'm looking at the tree here at the moment and you can see everything in the background is blurred out. I really do like that effect. I think it's really cool when the shaders do have that option. To enable that and in terms of performance as you guys can see on the top left there I am using Optifine and I am getting close to between 80 to 90 FPS in this and I haven't noticed any slowdowns whatsoever as you guys can see we've got a different color lava there compared to the default lava which looks really nice as well let's just quickly have a look at the underwater graphics as well as I mentioned earlier the graphics do look quite realistic when we look at the water from the top but underwater it's quite nice as well i do like this effect because everything is so clear we can see that we are underwater but we can actually see what's ahead of us as well and then obviously we've got the shadows coming in through the sun through the water there and onto the blocks as you guys can see so it does look quite nice i do like this effect as well we also have some nice glows coming in from the lava and the torches as well as you guys can see so it is quite close to the vanilla experience, but everything just looks so much nicer. So if you guys are looking for a shader that is close to that pure vanilla feeling, but you want the game to also look quite nice at the same time, I would definitely recommend that we give Sora shaders a go. I think everything in the shader pack is quite nicely done. And obviously it is compatible with Optifine as I showed you earlier. And we can now see it's also started raining here. We've got the rain effects as well. Yeah weather is a more of a rainy weather so you guys can see that is quite realistic there with the clouds everything looks quite nice and if we have a look at the scene over here with the water and the reflections you can see that it does look quite realistic so i'm going to show you guys how to download and install sora shaders for minecraft java edition 1.17.1 um, at the same time i'm also going to show you how to download and install optifine for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 I'm not going to show you the iris shaders installation because at the moment this shader pack is not working fully with iris shaders so if you guys do want to try sora shaders out i would recommend to use optifine instead 
Okay, so the first thing we need to make sure is that we've got the latest version of Java. So if you open up your internet browser, just type in Java JDK 16 and scroll down to the oracle.com link. And I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads I'm going to show you guys today. So if we just scroll down, because I'm on a Windows based machine, I'm going to download the Windows X64 installer. I'm going to click on this file. This is the Java JDK version 16.0.2 file. And let's just wait for that to finish downloading. It is 151 megabytes, but once it is downloaded, the installation is super quick. So let's just wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. All right, so as you guys can see, the Java JDK file has finished downloading. So let me just close this down. The next file we're going to get is Optifine. So in your search bar, just type in Minecraft Optifine and it's going to be the Optifine.net link, which we need to go to. This is the main Optifine website. Click on Downloads. And if we have a look at the Minecraft version 1.17.1 section here, click on the drop down for preview versions because all of these files at the moment are in the preview stage. And if we click on change log, we can see at the moment this is not compatible with Forge. So if you did want to use Optifine and shaders with mods, the only thing you would do right now is to use it with Fabric and download a mod called Optifabric. I have done a video on that, so I will leave a link in the description on how you can get that set up and then you can start using shaders with mods as well using Optifine and Fabric together. Let's click on the preview version here. The latest version is this pre-33 file and I'm going to click on the mirror link here to start the download. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says the preview version of Optifine for version 1.17.1 has finished downloading. So I'm going to close this down. The next file we're going to get, obviously, is this Sora shaders file. So just type in Sora shaders and it's going to be the CurseForge link. All right, so once you come to the curseforge.com link, you will see something like this. Click on files and then we can click on download for the latest release of this Sora shaders file. And let's wait for that to start the download. All right, so as you guys can see, it has finished downloading the Sora shaders file as well. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put all of these files on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to install them and get everything set up. All right, so as you guys can see, I have placed all of the files on my desktop. I'm going to click on the Java JDK installer first and get that installed. So then we can right click on Optifine installer and then open that up easily. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, so as you guys can see, it says the software has already been installed on the computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes. And I'm just going to quickly go through the default selections for this. going to click on next for all of them. It is quite a quick installation, so we don't have to wait too long. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says Java has been successfully installed. So let's close this down. Let's move this file out of the way. We can now open up the Optifine installer. And because we've got Java installed, I can right click on this Java file, click on open with, and then select Java platform SE binary. And now it's opened up the Optifine installer. As you guys can see, it's got the default installation folder selected there for me already. So all I need to do is just click on install and it should install it for me. It's quite quick. So as you can see, it says Optifine is successfully installed. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, we can now move this file out of the way. And let's go into the Minecraft launcher. And the first thing you should notice is that there will be a drop down selection for Optifine there. So as you can see, there is a drop down selection here. We can see Optifine version 1.17.1 is showing here. If I go into the installation section here, you can see Optifine is also showing in this section. Now we need to place the shader file into the Minecraft directory so then it can load the shader into the game. So let's click on the folder icon here against any of these two lines to open up the Minecraft directory. And now we can close down the launcher. And in this folder, we should have a folder that says shader packs, as you can see here. If you don't have this folder, you can right click anywhere and on an empty space, select new, select folder, and then rename it to shader packs. So let's go into the shader packs folder. And now we can place the zip file, the Sora shaders zip file, into the shader packs folder. So I can just drag that into there. So you've got the Sora shaders zip file in the shader packs folder. I can now close this down and I can now launch the Minecraft launcher again. And we can now actually enter the game using the drop down selection with Optifine selected. So I can hit play and it should launch Optifine there. Or I can actually go into the installation section and hit play over here. So let's do that and wait for the game to load now. Right, so as you guys can see, the game has now loaded. And if I maximize that, you can see at the bottom here, it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 and it's got modded written against it. If I go to options, click on video settings, 
I can now see it does say Optifine HD and it's got the version there that I just installed and now you can also see we've got a button here that says shaders. If you don't have this then something would have gone wrong with the installation and you, if you don't have this written here at the bottom left it means that Optifine probably isn't set up properly so just click on the shaders button here and now you can see it currently sets it off and I'm going to click on Sora shaders zip file and it should enable the shader pack now. So as you can see, it's now selected it. I can click on done, click on done again. I can now go into a single player, create a new world, and let's see how that looks. All right, so as you guys can see, we have now loaded into the game, and you can tell we've got the shaders enabled because we can see some nice sun's reflection coming in through the trees there. We can see the lights coming in through the trees there, and we've got the nice shadows there of the trees and the grass and my character as well. So we do know that shaders are working as they should and everything looks really nice and we can actually now go back into the options video settings shaders making sure that Sora shaders is selected we can click on shader options and we can basically mess around with the options here so we can actually tone down the profile as well i can set it to medium light cinematic ultra and we can actually go into the other sections here we can go to post process and have a look at the tone mapping and then i'm going to boost the saturation up a bit just to make the colors pop out a bit more there we go and i'm also going to go into the colors and i'm going to select lighting color i'm going to change that to a newer style and the color style i'm going to select as luma over there there we go so as you guys can see we have some nice saturation and the grass and the trees look really nice i do like these settings i think they are quite a nice mixture of saturation and colors that look different compared to the default vanilla game but at the same time they do maintain the vanilla style graphics so everything is a nice mixture in this shader pack i would say we have some nice sky boxes sun's rays coming in there nice shadows and obviously we have the nice auto graphics as well so if you guys are looking for a new shader to try out for your Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, I would highly recommend that you try out Sora shaders as I showed you today earlier. Obviously, as I mentioned, this would only work with Optifine 4 version 1.17.1. Unfortunately, we do get a black uh, skybox with iris shaders. Uh, so hopefully that would be fixed later on. And at the moment, just use this with Optifine and you should be good to go. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries or any help that you require with installing this shader or installing Optifine for version 1.17.1, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.